Hello everyone, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, and we are playing a new game today, and this time it is The Council. So I've heard a bit about this game, it's a narrative-driven, choose-your-own-adventure type of game. Uh, got uh, pretty decent reviews, got on the Steam sale recently, so I want to try it out now. So without further ado, let us start playing. So we're in France, Paris, France, December 10th, 1792. Uh, this don't look good. Mm. Oof. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> yeah, we'll see That's about that. What you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Yeah, uh, like true serum, I guess? You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. But I like getting to trouble. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, really? <sighs> oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Oh, hints. Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. <sighs> With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. I bet it does. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours always remain rational and open i got it i've opened our shackles draw him over here i'll take care of him von borchard von borchard hmm? listen let's make a deal i'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free oh what are you playing at don't worry mother you yes, don't worry, Mother. Hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. Oh, I'm so in a position last time. to do so. Where? Alazif. Let me do this. Trust Act. Me. Act. Trust her. Yep, yeah, let's trust her. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Oh, yeah. Take that! Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm oh, warning mother. you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Do they Come even on, say spring chicken back and then? And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Oh, 
one month later. Okay. Uh, Lord Mortimer's Island. Yeah, this isn't a creepy place. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone definitely on his interest in learning island? about this Which, Lord by the Mortimer. Way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The Council, Episode One: The Mad Ones. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? <laughs> oh, no. Looks like a high-ranking priest. But as guy. I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Okay. Business with Lord Mortimer, personal reason... Let's go business with Lord Mortimer, Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, yes, business. how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this oh, island. Must be very and lucky. only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Okay. I absolutely turn the question back to the Duchess. You know, yeah, and let's you, do that. Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Interesting. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests cardinal. here are this person. That is a high-ranking person. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Uh. Oh. Uh. Are you all right? Uh. Uh, handshaking. Uh. Not a good sign. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! That's really not good. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Very sure? Not. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, don't, don't! What? Mm. Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. 
If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But wonder what I this it you. is. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> Ouch. You can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? No. Oh, nose bleeding. Here, take this. Thank you. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Hmm, I wonder if he has maybe psychic powers? My mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's Controls. happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. Up shift to run. Oh, okay. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Huh. Choose your class, okay. Uh, diplomat, occultist, or detective. So diplomat, the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux pas and can, and he can convince those with whom he's talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. All right. Detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Okay, choosing class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Okay, so in that case, to start out, I'll be the detective. Okay, three points available. Unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, and psychology, and agility skills. You have seven points to use your skills. Okay. Now let's put questioning, vigilance, questioning, questioning, vigilance, no, no authority details, or oddly placed elements. Sure. Logic, agility. Now let's go logic. Use your logical mind and oratorical talents. All right. I think that's it. Let's validate. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Two people. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, so, not at all so lie to her, not at all sorry. Uh, let's be truthful and say not at all Please sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Hmm. Well, I must Charmer. say you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please, stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? 
No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Your opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation or discover them. Opportunities do not concern effort points to access the skill required for a situation. You just need to have unlocked it. Okay. And just a line. Oh, wait, I see dots here. Validate. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Okay, personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Okay. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. You revealed vulnerability. Revealed. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Riche. Interesting. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Okay. So press enter for the menu. So inventory, journal. Okay. Looks handkerchief. Warmer's invitation. Okay. Journal. Emily, immunity t is logic. All right. Shane, that's me. She discovered. Okay. Map, character, talents, questioning, psychology. Okay. Interesting traits, charismatic presence, trusting, and detective. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna look around. Oh. See something highlighted. Yeah. Oops. Royal jelly. Cons Royal jelly restores yeah, restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Press one to use it. Okay. Honey, the remedy of the gods. I bet it is. So let's see my inventory. Uh, Royal jelly. Good. What else here? Golden elixir. Devil's thorn. And whoops. Went too fast on the last one. Carmelite water. Next skill use is free. Cool. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. I bet they are. Okay. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. Hopefully not. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. Yes, that would be mean? very odd. On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After okay. verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Okay, skills. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost in effort points. Okay. Okay, let's see. Have you found anything and here? Did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. Hmm. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. 
But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Guess we'll Never find out if we see our her. Our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S. DR. Hmm. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have okay. orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Agreed. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Okay. Okay. Can't do that. Can't do that. Okay, let me have the handkerchief. I'll take Give care of it. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, Because but... my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And I... having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. Darn right. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Also, weird mask. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Hold down middle mouse button to move faster. Ah, same as shift. Now yeah, let's... Must be an incredible view from up there. Yeah. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Yes. Okay, what's here? Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. You know what, take the bar? This might just come in handy. Not sure where he would hide it, but whatever. Okay, what's A sack this? of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Can I open this case? I can't move there. Let's see if there's anything here. Okay, nothing is lighting. Oh! Yep, something's lighting up. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Okay. A lantern. Nothing special. Oh, you never know. It could be a very special lantern. Oh, okay. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Examine the letters one at a time. Okay. Let's use examine Let's the letters work. one at a time. To Mr. Carl Corey. It's too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Okay, to Mr. R. Galbraith. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Okay, to Mr. Joaquina de Silva Xavier. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Okay. The envelope has ideograms on it. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Ugh, I don't know this language. The slightest idea what it says. Too bad. Examine the other letters. Okay, two. Mr. P. V. Hoven. Probably a Dutchman. Probably. Okay, to Mr. Samuel Ritter Dauschwa. Okay, name rings a bell. Eh. Locked the other choices. Nope. It doesn't ring a bell. Okay. To his eminence, Giovanni Angelico Rashi. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name sounds familiar. Pashi, Pashi, Pashi. 
No. Can't seem to place it. Okay, to Mr. H.B. de la Bath. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Yeah. Stand back. Okay, so if I want to find a clue... Okay, you know what? Let's use... Ah, uh, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting any... Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So... Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he is going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets. Always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. I mean, who is this Samuel Ritter? You would think something's going, out here, going on Manuel here. Who is Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? I so I remember now is locked, so no, I can't remember. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon. I don't know what you're yourself. I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Yeah, I bet she does. I see the di the diamond shapes on the bottom left-hand corner. Three of them are now blank. So I guess those are my action or skill points or whatever they are. See other stuff here. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Excellent. So we got two honeys now, or royal jellies. Oh, is it Tanya or royal jelly? Royal jelly. Okay. Else. I don't see anything else. Okay, let's head to the manor. That's one hell of a door. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? I must say. Is that Zeus? Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, Your Eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Ricci, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. Oh, you can give it to me. My only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. 
Okay, confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of your story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing you how much a person you are talking to is convinced. All right, let's do this. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Okay, would you? You know what? Yes, she has been here for several weeks. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son. I hold your mother in the highest of oh, I bet she did. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. Maybe. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. Okay, now but give me that letter. We work together on a daily basis. It's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you worked together. What do you do exactly? Okay. Our collector. Okay, these are locked. So you know what? Let's go with professional secret. Sorry. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion and secrecy are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Yeah, give me the letter! Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Give it to me, old man! Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Okay, let's see. You know, let's just go with you can count on me. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Okay, confrontation, last step. For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are ta talking to... Sorry, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you, you either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. Last step of a confrontation will repeat itself if you fail. Okay. Okay, no worries. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I am going to tell you a secret, Monsieur. Oh, please do. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Oh, I am. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Exactly. Any clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. 
go back to the group near the chimney. Alrighty. Okay, let's walk around a bit more. Oh, let's see a book. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Sure, take the book. Just take everything. Man manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read to gain and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab in your in the menu. Push. Okay. Okay. So. Wonder is like is this permanent? I guess these could be permanent. Let's go to psychology. Okay. What else do I see here? Oh, I mean, obviously those two are talking. I just want to see if there's anything. I thought oh. my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington. President George Washington. Of the United States of America. What's he doing here? Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Okay, what was I talking about? I'll say, my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left oh, and right around I here. love scheming. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing. So is this like to imagine the, the Illuminati or something? So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Uh, uh, let's go invent something. Like you, Mr. President. I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Well, I think I recognize that symbol. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. Okay, never mind. I thought it was something else. Of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Thought it was a Freemason symbol. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. 
An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. Oh, I'm sure. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those ah, who'd like food. to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, We'll be able to speak about my mother, and I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Let's say discover that home. Discover what home knows about my mother, or stay and listen to Washington. Uh, I think I'll stay and listen to Washington. Let's see what Washington has to say, sir. If you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Oh, I will. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Okay. Okay, let's find out about this Mortimer. Your mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and his advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Yes. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. Well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Okay, so this is locked, rather political. Or the mysteries that surround us. Mm, or the golden door. You know, mysteries that surround us. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Interesting. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> Are you so sure? What was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. I better and not be. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Okay. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. 
As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Hopefully yes, I, not. I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. No, oh, who's that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, old, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, and Miss. Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Mm -hmm. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Okay. This one. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. Yes, the weird masked servant. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, let's oh, do some man. skulking. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Just want to see... Duke Manuel Godoy. Is there anything down this way? You know, I'll look there later. Collector coins. Okay, so, you know, let me look at some of the characters. Journal. Okay. Is it Adams? Okay. Man, this place is so fancy. Huh, that's me. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Oh, what's this? Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Ah, good old royal jelly. Can I open this box? Nope. Ah, uh, who's this? President George Washington. Okay. 
So that's there. Monsieur ah. Johann van Wulne. So much expensive looking stuff. Oh, actually, I'll go up there. Actually, can I go up there? Nope, can't. Golden elixir. Cause all your negative cures. I mean, cures all your negative alterations. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Assemble all pages in the manuscript. Okay. Oh, is there another book here? Nope, not a book. Okay, I guess I'll just head off to bed. Can I? Nope, can't open that. Duke Manuel Godoy. I think this one's mine. Huh, that's me. Okay, in I go. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Ah, there's an option to open the letter without breaking the seal. You know what? Let's leave the letter closed for now. Damn. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow! Yes. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. No, he does not. Oh, that's an interesting painting. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. Yeah, I think I saw that too. Son. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. Wow. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. Yeah. Lots of expensive Inferno things here. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Good Lovely old Dante's Inferno. is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Else here, books. Reach. Just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Excellent. Amber crystals. Anything else does not look like anything else here. Oh. Ah, cannot unlock. Wonder where I'd go if I need to pee in the middle of the night. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, two points so I can level up. Okay, let's get the agility up. Chili up. And let's. Oh, wait, how many? Oh, I have three points. Okay, then let's get. Psychology, questioning, 
Uh, you know what? Let's do. You know, let's do vigilance. Equipping manuscripts. Conviction. Psychology can't equip that. Uh, you know what? Let's equip psychology. Little game of chess we have here. Your turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Perhaps. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. <laughs> Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. Oh, now who's I'll this? I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Is that Napoleon? Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't oh. worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Maybe that was Napoleon. I don't know. No names mentioned. Oh, wait. It says character reveal Napoleon Bonaparte. Cool. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Ooh, intrigue. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Knocking. <gasps> Dan with the bloody nose. I'm coming. Who? What's this? Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Cool. Okay. So, let's take the key. wonder where her personal effects are. I'll take a look at that later. Oh, I guess I can, maybe I can open this. Unlock. Ah, can't. Oops. Inferno by Dante. 
Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Okay, whatever. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Hello. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? No. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? <laughs> Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. Mm. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. Maybe she's it a zombie. Disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Uh, investigate about your vision or help George Washington. I'll help George Washington. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. Yes, trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Small salon downstairs. You got it. Son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. Yes, I can hear the arm. I the don't argument. know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Sure. I'm going Shit. in. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. <sighs> Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forget Multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. All right. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you. Stay out of it. This is none of your business. I'm going to teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. Nope, I don't. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's going to uh, suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Let's step in and risk Adams getting away. Let her go. Huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. <laughs> What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. Hit him. Remind him where you're he is. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And I'm sure you all, would. A woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. What? 
Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots! Mm. It's nothing better than a monster. I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. What the fuck are you talking about? I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. That's true. Let's see how brave you are. Okay, disconcerted. Someone threw you off balance. The cost of effort, sorry, the cost of effort points increases when you use your skills. Okay. You must have a weak spot. I've watched you, and you're shaking. I'm betting you won't fire. Excellent. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. I was hoping that I could stop Miss Adams from leaving. But I guess I couldn't. Well, let's pick this up. Remember the object. The brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened, she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else I can. Okay, that's the way out. Let's see if there's anything else I can pickpocket. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Yes, they do. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Use the key. I don't have a key and I can't unlock, so I'll move away. Hmm, wonder if I can play the piano. Nope. Excellent. I got a lot of royal jelly now. Anything else? Well, it doesn't look like it. I wonder what's at this door. Lady Adams must have locked it behind her when she fled. Okay. Well, did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed ten minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. Ten minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. I could go. Go back to bed. Okay, what have we got here? Taking a seat. Yep, we'll just get up. Anything else? Okay, might as well just head back to bed. I think it's this way. Oh wait, what's this? The quorum guide. Interesting. That's not the right way. Okay, I guess I'll head this way.
Your Eminence, what are you doing here? Yes, what are you doing I here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Problem solved. Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the home? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Okay. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you. Yeah, good thing I did not. Give me one second. Open it. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Good night, mysterious cardinal. Okay, I guess I better just head back to bed. Whew. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Yes, he better. Also creepy painting. I could have found out something about my mother's past. Okay. Oh no, I didn't level up to level three. Dang. Daytime. Morning. Get up. vision yesterday I saw that mother had this room before me I better search the room who knows maybe she left me something behind okay I can squirt that I can equip another manuscript conviction etiquette still can't equip this yet let's go with etiquette I don't think I leveled up yet. Okay, whatever. Oh, grab that. Roll jelly. I think I have the maximum though, so I'm gonna use one of my jellies. This one's easy. Sweet. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Devil's Thorn. Grants the exalt... The exalt state. You temporarily see the immunities and, invuln and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue, choice, and conversation. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Inferno by Dante. Yeah, I keep forgetting it's a Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Oh. Lovely lecture. Look. What's this? Markings on the floor. Eh, up, oh, secret passageway. Worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A voyage around the world. The travel log of the explorer, Louis-Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. 
What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Mm -hmm. Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. You know, I'll leave for now. I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Okay. Let's walk around. Oh, what's this? There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. Use the key. Interesting. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Yes. All right. I've retrieved everything. Here. Oh, very misty down there. The priest robe, crosses, must be Piaggi's room. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Sam and the brush. Stand aside for now. So Carmelite water. Carmelite water gives you the focus state. Your next skill use will cause no effort. You cannot carry more than five. Okay. Carmelite water will give me a little reprieve. Ah, not too many. Honey. The remedy of the gods. Go away. Oh, back to my room. I'm gonna open these cases here. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Okay. Here, collector coins. Yeah. This room is. This room looks unoccupied. A pound. A lot of coins lying out around all, all over the place. Okay, you know, I might as well just use my skill to look at this. Papers rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light stain, barely visible. And the smell reminds me of something. Okay, examine the page with the symbol choice already made. The paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. Very light stain, barely visible. And the smell reminds me of something. Okay. Uh, I'm not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Look. Markings on the floor. Uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Okay. Okay. Nope, I can't exit until I find clues. Hmm. Nothing <clears throat> here. I wouldn't mind a nice strong coffee though. Oh, what's this? Carmelite water. Okay, anything here? Nothing. Nope. The incredulity of St. Thomas. 
why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his feet? Writing material. Hmm. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She applied a liquid to the book. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. Easy. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Okay. The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. Step back. Okay. How can I reveal the message? Oop, what's this? Oh, ash. Let's take the ash. And then use that on the book. Spread ashes on the book. Damn, I'm making a serious mess here. It's no good. It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no. There's only traces of lemon. Okay, never mind. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. Okay. That was... wrong. Okay. Hmm. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Coffee sounds good. What's this? Now can't unlock it. Candle? Think about what it can be used for. Ah, secret writing. Many people use this method for their secret correspondences. Light the flame and the ink appears. Okay, I guess I'll take it. Okay, I better just take a royal jelly. There you go. Okay. Burnish the page with the candlestick. Aha! It's working! The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Don't! Great. I hope it wasn't a unique addition. Her mother's gonna kill me. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Shouldn't have spread that ash. But you know what? I'm not gonna load an earlier save or anything like that. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Let's look at some traits I've unlocked. Charismatic present, trusting, detective, reliable gentleman, faithful, member of the order, talents. Do I have any. Okay. Alright, whatever. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Can I do that now? Let's try. Nope. Guess not. Oh. It might be better oh, to take a different stairway. Okay. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Ah, cannot unlock.
Is there anything else here? Half circle shaped key. Might as well just head downstairs, have some food. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. Nope, I stole it. You're her son. Sarah de Richet's son. Yes, why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Why are you interested? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. What do you really? mean? Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you uh. mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Look at scars. And next you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait, it's not. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Okay. Allow her to confide. Elizabeth. Conf you just encountered an immunity. Plus one effort point is locked. Use golden elixir to cure yourself. Fighting in me might ease your burden. Let me relieve you of some of your suffering. Relieve me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you really think that by confiding in my torturer's son, I will be healed as if by magic? That it will bring my smile back or let me sleep at night? Look, you don't seem like a bad person. And I'm sorry you have to find out your mother's true colors like this. But I'm not going to pity you. Uh -oh. Everybody has their cross to bear. I okay. know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Find your mother. Sister. Father? Take your father. I'm sure he tried everything to save you. Sure, he tried everything. To keep me from upsetting his political affairs. Once I was declared insane, I was nothing but a burden that got in the way of his career. By leaving me with your mother, he made all the horrors possible. Oh, damn it. I've got nothing more to say to you. Figure it out yourself. Confrontation failure. No. Trade and lock. Naive. I'm just curious what that is. Questioning costs one more effort point. You did not persuade Elizabeth Adams to, Elizabeth Adams to talk to you about your mother. Eh. Dang, that's a bit too bad. But I'm not going to reset it. I'm just going to let everything happen as is. But I think I should. One sec. Okay. 
Okay. Use two. Awesome. Beast. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Yes, very weird. <laughs> Of course. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Yes. Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? I'm glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives yeah. me to That hair, like Marsh so Simpson. I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking oh, in my clogs. <laughs> is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Souterne, isn't it? Absolutely. And everything's so... everyone's so snobby. This is favourite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, <laughs> washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. Yeah. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Very Just mentioned that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment in absence, but here I am again. Oh, monsieur. You must be. What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Uh, let Emily reply. What do you think, madam? 
What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it almost cost them their lives. Interesting. Thank you, that's helpful. What a stalk. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Sure. Oh, long way down. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Well, I am. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. Did he I appreciate now? his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Sure. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'Or for 200 cannons. Uh, no, I cannot agree on such a deal. Uh, sure. Absolutely. 50,000 Louis d'Or in hard cash. The offer I'm talking about was for only 20,000 Louis d'Or, Monsieur de Richet. The truth is, you really have no idea about our agreement. No. So, you're wasting my time. I need to work with people I can have confidence in, sir. The exact numbers may have escaped me. I suggest you wait for my mother's return in order to manage such details. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. Okay, last we chance. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Vision. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Uh, shit, what was it? We need counter revolution. I don't know how to remedy the situation without re establishing a solid monarchy. And what would we stand to gain by this? We've tried a republic, but it is clear that with the situation we're in now, that it's not working. Because I think Napoleon wanted to be became emperor of France. No sense at all. No. The monarchy is a privileged Ugh. who have forever built their prestige by crushing and controlling the people. <laughs> I think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised me to speak to you. I must have misunderstood. Damn it! Excuse me, please. <sighs> Bravo, Louis. Total fiasco. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends.
Yes, yes. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Okay. Washington is a very gifted speaker. Yes, he is. Leave him for five minutes with sworn enemies and he'll convince them to be friends for life. Right. We shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Ah, oh, butterflies. Dough. Okay. Okay, at least I leveled up. Okay, so read people's a lot. Okay, let's go one logic, one agility, two psychology. Yes. Let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Okay. Equip that manuscript. Find the place mentioned by my mother. Well, first let's look if I can take anything here. Cardinal. Well, <coughs> your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte... Eh, not so begun. well, though. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. <coughs> it's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing minutes, but I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. Oh, I, I should think is. you are beginning to worry. Say no, not really. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer and they will both turn up shortly. Would that be cool? Yes. But while I have you with me, I I have a question for you. Go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Uh... As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Uh -oh. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Okay. Oh, I see him. Take that. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Unfortunately, I do not have the key. Let's see if there's anything down this way. Nope, that's not the door to the outside. Nope. Oh, what's this? Hearsay preparing wine. 
what better trap for you is Discourse on the Method by Descartes. Cool. This book changed the way I looked at the world. The Conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Let's see if there's anything down this direction. Uh, cannot unlock. Unlocking would have been really handy. Key with an occult earth symbol. Can this open it? Nope. Is there another box here? The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Nope, still cannot use that. Let's check my inventory. Key with an occult earth symbol. Half search, half that yeah, half circle shaped key. Okay. All right, let's head this way. Oh wow, that is one hell of a library. Atrus, the Miller brothers, mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Anything else here? Okay, that's a way out. I'm gonna go to the ladder. Go to the first one here. Oh, never mind. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Nice. I think I got all the encyclopedia pit pages now. size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? Yes. Okay. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Before I look, let look at the paintings. Let's see if I find anything else that I can take here. Nope. Take some stuff here. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion. Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Okay. Oh, what's this? The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Anything. <laughs> Here. Up uh, there, I see it. But let's see if I can just open up some other stuff first. Nope. Okay, let's start with the Medusa. Find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. 
The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Find solution to the Medusa Enigma. Okay, examine the sword. Says the statue of Okay, stand back. Think about the configuration. Okay, so I know. Hold on. Think about configuration. Okay, so I know that Medusa looked into the shield and she got killed that way. Origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Read the Hang French on. page. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah! The section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, Oops. mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the Gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Okay. Am I able to rotate this statue? Okay, so... Guy with the sword... Rotate the statue towards the Medusa. Okay. Rotate the statue towards the hero holding the sword. Okay. This one. Okay, so we need the light. We'll go that towards the hero holding the shield. towards the hero holding the shield. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Oh, what's this? Oops. Nope. Oh. Reach. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Take the statue. Eventually I'll use a clue. I just want to see if I can solve this for myself. Heroes, take the sword. Maybe towards the lantern. Sword. So it says the hero with the sword distracts the Medusa. So those two should be facing each other, I think. Maybe it's the hero with the sword? Got 
Try holding the shield. Nope, screw it. I'm just going to use a clue. Now, Louie, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. Sure. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No. That makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical Oops. mind as every good scientist should. But she could skip this. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No. That makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Okay. Pretty smart. Okay, so this is definitely... Okay, so it's already aimed at the guy with the shield. This one would take the statue towards the lantern. Or maybe not? Statue towards the Medusa? Towards the hero holding the shield? If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Yeah. Sam and the sword. This hero is the only one holding a weapon. It seems obvious that he's the one whose job is to cut off her head. So, sword toward the Medusa. Okay, sword towards the Medusa, which I'm already doing. To the lantern? Nope. Take the statue towards the guy holding the sword. No, maybe I'll aim the sword this to the hero holding the sword. Towards the Medusa. The hero holding the shield. That would make sense. So holding the shield. Artie's statue with the hero holding the sword. This one branches there. Okay. Sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Dodge the question with humor. I was feeling a bit peckish. I went in search of the kitchen and I ended up here. Your sense of direction is mind boggling, isn't it? Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. 
Alrighty. Gonna use some jelly. There you go. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No. You are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth, aren't you? But Mortimer has been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Interesting. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Very unlikely. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? Oh, is he trying to charm her? What's this? An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Oh, she's a thief. Oh, what's this? Coin. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Okay. Ooh, this looks interesting. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. <laughs> this could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Uh, why laurels is a symbol? I can just see Mortimer, dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. Hey there. Well... Looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Oh, let's see. Should be right. Oh, it's just about to pick Here's up something. something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. Yeah, he's immortal. That's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Uh, yeah, I assume Mortimer is immortal. Maybe Mortimer is immortal or capable of living for a very long time, like Methuselah. A first smile. Careful. Keep that up and soon you'll end up laughing. Carry on sprouting inanities like that, and indeed I might. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Okay. I can seal these assets. Yeah, what do you think of this collection? Is unique, isn't it? 
That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art, or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Maybe I shall. Okay. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. Yes! We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I Okay, confrontation. Here we go. Okay, because I don't want to hurt. Okay. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? No, I have not. Okay. Uh... Weakness in psychology... Weakness in psychology. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves than you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. Yay, I succeeded might have step. I weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Okay. I think she prefers to yes. work alone. You're the kind of girl who gets by on her own and who shares nothing. The fact is, you are completely mistaken about me. Don't. I already have a work partner. Oh. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. <laughs> is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Yes, who is it? No, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. Okay. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Okay, remember how she was affected by the cameo? Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it Just a guess. Results, you are very good, I grant you that. Oh, I am. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine... Twin what sister, extent, I though. knew it! As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. 
When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Holm and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? Yes. She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. That's because we were Instead, shot by his Saint mother. Instead, me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't oh, will I. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. No, I was going to search around again. So, first adventure. I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's got oh, a lot of tattoos. Been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Like a lot good of, evening, Elizabeth. A lot of tattoos. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Waiting for me in my room, huh? I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Really? <laughs> we need to talk now, otherwise it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Join Emily, follow Elizabeth. Uh, I want to join Emily, but... Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. Well, Elizabeth, what was so urgent? For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh, she's gone insane. Running stuff on the wall. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. All right. What have you got on your mind now? You've got to listen to what I have to say while there's still time. You need to know the truth about your mother. About my mother? What do you mean? I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. She's crazy. The exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Okay, look at this. Nope, that. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Okay. Yes. I need something to calm me down. Refuse. No thanks. I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louis. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. Okay. Fine. I'll drink with you, but... Let's go easy on it, okay? I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. 
You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa. The alcohol's... <sighs> gone to my head. I knew I shouldn't have drank it. Here, the condemned's last drink. I'll Elizabeth, stop you. Alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Okay. Man, I... I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Ugh, the second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. You know what? Let's do this Come to the on, end. Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. Okay, intoxicate. You have used four consumable items during a single quest or consume a noxious element. Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Okay. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices, voices. in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? Of course, Louis. This is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. These voices in your head, it's, it's you, in fact. Nobody is speaking to you. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result. It's impossible, mm. mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louis. Are you starting to believe me? No, but... Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. Oh, what are they saying? And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I beg you, tell me you believe me. Uh, yeah. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louie. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. Sure. My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Advisor to escape from the island. Advisor to stay here. Uh, I don't know if she would be able to make it on her own, so I'm going to advise her to stay here. Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm with you. And anyway, my mother's gone missing. You're not in any danger. That's not what the voices say. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist. And tomorrow, you'll see. Things will be better. You like my little concoction, don't you? 
That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What? You put laudanum in my drink? And I don't know if that's good or bad. Don't worry, my Probably lady. not good. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh man, I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. What is this bitch gonna do to me? Hey, language. Don't touch me. Just li If I get up, I'll fall. Oh, little Louie's tired. Leave everything to me. Uh oh. Just let go. Mademoiselle, may I come in? Ah, uh, my head. I shouldn't have drunk so much. Wait, I'm still alive. Oh shit. Oh, okay, not good. skip this because I think that is the end of episode one so I guess that'll be it for this video so far I'm enjoying the game you know very interesting choose your own adventure plus with some RPG elements you know with classes and you know uh, updating or upgrading your talents and abilities so overall i'm enjoying this game so far i uh, hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below until next time this is jason from force hammer gaming signing off